In this video, we'll be discussing exercise 2.21 in the prescribed textbook. The question says, The average daily high temperature in June in LA is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with a standard deviation of 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Suppose that the temperatures in June closely follow a normal distribution. What is the probability of observing an 83 degree Fahrenheit temperature or higher in LA during a randomly chosen day in June? And how cold are the coldest 10% of days during June in LA? So the first question asks, what is the probability of observing a temperature higher than 83 degrees Fahrenheit? So because this variable is normally distributed, we're going to use the Z value. The formula for that says observation X minus the mean over the standard deviation. That's how we normalize the variable. So in our case, we've got 83 as the observation minus the mean of 77 over the standard deviation of 5, which gives us a z-value of 1.2. Now, in order to find the probability, we don't find this value in the z-table. So, that gives us the probability that z is less than or equal to 1.2 is equal to 0, 0.8849. However, the question asks us, what is the probability that the temperature is higher than 83 degrees Fahrenheit? So, for that reason, um, if we look at the normal distribution quickly, the Z table gives us the probability that it is lower than 83 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're interested in this portion. So for that reason, we say that the probability of Z being greater than 1.2 is equal to 1 minus 0, 0.8849, which is 0, 0.1151. So the probability of observing a temperature greater than 83 degrees Fahrenheit is 0 0.1151. The next question then asks us, how cold are the coldest 10% of days in LA? So if we look at our normal distribution, what they're asking us is, how cold is this coldest 10%? So this is basically uh, doing what we just did, but in reverse. So if we find the probability 0 0.1 on the Z table, we find that the Z value is minus 1.28. Now we know how the formula goes for the Z value. Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. So when we substitute in the values, we get minus 1.28 is equal to X, which is what we're trying to find, minus 77 over 5, and that gives us 70.6. So the coldest 10% of days um, fall below 70.6 degrees Fahrenheit. 